Hello, mighty companions. This is Earl. This is Earl Rise Purdy, and I'm here to do a Course in Miracles lesson 260. Let me remember God created me. Let me remember God created me. Let me remember God created me. Father, I did not make myself, although in my insanity I thought I did. Father, I did not make myself, although in my insanity, 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 in my insanity, I thought I made myself. Yet, as your thought, God, I have not left my source, which means I remain part of who created me. Your son, my father, I call on you today. Let me remember you created me, God. Let me remember my identity and let my sinlessness, let my innocence arise again before Christ's vision through which I would look upon my brothers and myself today. Now is our source God remembered and therein we find our true identity at last. Healing, happy and holy indeed are we because our source can know no sin. Our source can know no sin. And we who are God's sons are like each other and alike to God. Let you remember God created you. You didn't make yourself. Although in your, although in your insanity, you thought you did make yourself. Yet as God's thought, you have not left your source, remaining part of who created you, you are calling on God today. Let you remember that God, love, created you. Let you remember your identity. And let your innocence arise again before Christ's vision through which you would look upon your brothers and yourself today. Now is your source remembered. And therein you find your true identity at last. Innocent and holy indeed we are, because our source can know no sin. And we who are the creations of a loving, innocent God are like each other and alike to God. So here's what we're going to say. We want this idea to not just be a head trip, but to be in our body. So let's go. Let me remember God created me. 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 Take a deep breath. See if you can get a little groove going. Let me remember God created me. Let me remember God created me. Let you remember God created you. Let you remember God created you. Let you remember God created you. God created you. God created you. Let you remember 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 God created you. Let you remember, 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 remember God. God created you. Let me remember God created me. 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 God created me. God created me. God created me. And God, which is love, created you. This is Earl Purdy. Check out my classes on video and audio at www.earlpurdy.com. And remember, God created you. Love created you. God created you. Hello, this is Earl Raj Purdy. And we're going to do What is Sin? From A Course in Miracles perspective. What is sin? <clears throat> sin is insanity. 
Sin is the means by which the mind is driven mad. The belief in sin is the means by which the mind is driven mad. Seeks to let illusion take the place of truth. And being mad, the mind that believes in sin sees illusions where truth should be. The man that believes in sin sees false ideas where it really is. The idea of sin, the belief in sin, gave the body eyes. But what is for what is there, for what is there that the sinless would behold? What need have the innocent of sights or sounds or touch? What need? have the innocent of sights or sounds or touch. What would the innocent hear? What would the innocent reach to grasp? What would the innocent sense at all? To sense is not to know. To sense is not to know. To sense is not to know. When you sense something, it actually means you don't really know it beyond doubt. And truth can be but filled with knowledge. Truth can be but filled with knowledge. Truth can be but filled with knowledge and with nothing else. The body is the instrument. Do you know that the body is the instrument your mind made in its efforts to deceive itself? The body is the instrument the mind made in its efforts to deceive itself. The purpose of the body is to strive. The purpose of the body is to strive. Yet can the goal of striving change. Yet can the goal of striving change. And now the body serves a different aim for striving. Now your body serves a different aim for striving. Now the body serves a different aim for striving. What the body seeks for now is chosen by the goal the mind has taken as replacement for the goal of self-deception. What the body seeks for now, what your body seeks for now, is chosen by the aim the mind has taken as replacement for the goal of self-deception. Truth can be your body's aim as well as lies. You can use your body to make you aware of the truth as well as using your body to make yourself aware of lies. Then the senses, the senses of your body then will seek instead for witnesses to what is true. So let your body's senses seek instead for witnesses to what is true. Let your body seek for witnesses to what is true. The idea of sin is the home of all illusions. The belief in sin is the home of all illusions. All illusions, all false ideas, which but stand for things imagined, issuing from thoughts that are untrue. Sin is the home of all illusions. Sin is the home of all illusions, which but stand for things imagined, issuing from thoughts that are untrue. So-called sins are the proof that what has no reality is real. The idea of sin proves God's Son. The idea of sin proves you, God's Son, is evil. The idea of sin proves that timelessness, which is eternal life, must have an end. The belief in sin proves that you, the infinite, unlimited child of God, that you have eternal life, but still it looks like you must die. And the idea of sin kind of proves that God himself has lost God's child, that God loves. What but corruption? It looks like that the child that God created innocent has been lost from God, with but corruption to complete God now. The idea and belief in sin the idea and belief in sin it makes it look like God has lost you the child God loves with but corruption to complete God's self it looks like 
God's will is forever overcome by death with the belief in sin. It looks like love has been slain by hate with the belief in sin. It looks like there is no more peace if we believe in sin and believe sin is real. A madman's dreams are frightening. A madman's dreams are frightening. And the sin appears indeed to terrify. I will say it again. A madman's dreams are frightening. And sin appears indeed to terrify. A madman's dreams are frightening. And sin indeed appears to terrify. And yet what the belief in sin perceives is but a childish game. But what the man that believes in sin perceives is but a childish game. You, the child of God, you, the child of God, I'm talking to you, 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 the child of God, you, the child of God, you, the child of God. Do you know you may play you have become a body? You may play you have become prey to evil. You may play you have become prey to guilt with but a little life that ends in death. The child of God may play he has become a body prey to evil and to guilt but with a little life that ends in death but all the while while you're playing like there's any such thing as sin while you're playing like there is such a thing as guilt your creator is still shining on you and loves you with an everlasting love which your pretenses cannot change at all. So no matter how you th feel, no matter what you think about yourself, the love of God is still shining on you. And God loves you with an everlasting love, which your pretenses cannot change at all. How long, O oh son of God, how long, O oh child of God, will you maintain the game of believing in sin and guilt? How long, O oh child of God, will you maintain the game of sin? How long, O oh child of God, shall you maintain the game of sin? Shall we not put away these sharp-edged children's toys? Shall we not put away these sharp-edged children's toys? How long, O oh child of God, will you maintain the game of sin? Shall we not put away these sharp-edged children's toys? Shall we not put away these sharp-edged children's toys? How soon will you be ready to come home? <clears throat> How soon will you be ready to come home to your innocence and your peace? Perhaps today, perhaps today, there is no such thing as sin. There is no such thing as sin. There is no sin. There is no such thing as sin. Creation is unchanged. Creation is unchanged. Would you still hold return to heaven perfect happiness back? Would you still hold your return to perfect happiness back? How long, O oh innocent holy son of God, how long, O oh innocent child of God, will you hold return to heaven back? Would, would you still hold return to your perfect happiness back? How long, O oh, healing, loving child of God? So, sin is insanity. The belief in sin is insanity. So don't forget, check me out at www.earlpurdy.com. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.